Hey guys, NDTV here with some more Twilight Princess. Last episode, we gained the Goron's trust and gained access to their minds where their Patriarch Darbus is held inside because he touched the Few Shadow and is now imprisoned because the Few Shadow made him a monster. So we're here to save him. And yeah, we're in the second dungeon, of course, the Goron Mines, and it's full of lava everywhere, or magma, so you want to be careful. Okay, just want to make sure. And break that. Break that, and... This dungeon has a lot of switches where you have to press them down with your iron boots. And a lot of them are timed as well, so just do that before it comes back on. And same with that one. Okay. Press that down. And rush over to the other side. Right over here. Okay, so yeah, if you don't have the Hylian shield, you're probably want to get it, or you're probably gonna want to get it before you do this dungeon, because yeah, the Ordon shield or wooden shield is going to burn here. Oh, yeah, it's gonna burn and it's not gonna be fun. Let's kill that, and I'm gonna grab this chest here. Red ruby, okay. I can deal with that. Okay, there's a switch here I'm gonna need to press, and I'm gonna need to kill you. So let's press this down. Oh, that's... That's pretty far. But I can make it. Hopefully, otherwise I would be burned to a crisp. Oh, you jerk. Okay, made it. Okay, this switch, this is a switch thingy, and we're gonna need to press it down. Whee. And that opens the gate to the door. Yay. That was loud. Someone give me a heart, please. Please, I need a heart. Okay, that's good. And now onward. Oh, okay. This is one of the main rooms of the dungeon, because we're going to be coming back here quite a bit. And that is a thing. We'll figure out what that does in a little bit. Okay, if I remember correctly, we're gonna wanna go down here because there's a chest for us to get. Along with some boblins. Die. Die. Give me a chest. Probably a small key, right? Yep. Hearts, hearts, please, hearts. No, hearts, there you are. Okay, and now we're gonna wanna go straight this way. Because there is the door for us. And rotating platforms. Okay, that was actually pretty close. I almost fell into deadness. Deadness, that's what I'm gonna call the magma here. Oh, this room, I remember this room, and look at this thing! It is a Dodongo. So, uh, Yeah, you're gonna wanna hit the tail because that's its weak point. And I like how it automatically locks onto the tail when you're behind it or when you're within range, which is pretty cool. Okay. Gonna wanna head this way. Did I miss a chest over there? Nope. I don't remember where the chests are in this dungeon, so I'll have to wait until I get the compass. Alright. Okay, that's one, two, three. One more hit, right? Okay. That's three more hits then, or two more hits than I was expecting. But, okay, wait for that. 
and right over here, kill this. Okay, that was easy. Okay, what we're gonna want to do here is, see this? It's blocking a door. So, I don't think you need the iron boots for this. So, just pull this, and pull it all the way because it's going to slide back into place, which is very annoying. Okay, let go. Wait for that. Come on, you're wasting my time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Okay. And here, this room has a lot of water. And a lot of things. Yeah, we're seeing more of this rocky substance thingy that's very pretty to look at. Well, since there's a lot of water here and Link doesn't know how to dive, use the iron boots to weigh ourselves down, which is very scary if you're afraid of drowning because weighing yourself down means you can't get back up, but we just activated the magnet and we need the iron boots on to activate them or to walk on these magnetic rocks, which is really cool. The only beef I have with this is that you go slow. Very slow. And there's the sky. Okay, this must be one of the elders. I thought I felt a presence, but what a surprise to find a young human. What has come to me of you? And if Kor Gor Koran has faith in you, then your heart must be true. I am one of the four Goron elders. Gor Amoto is his name, and being a Goron is his game. He's going to give us a key shard. We're going to need three of these to make the big key, which is pretty cool. And the big key is going to lead to where Darbus is. So the other two elders that we haven't met have the key, or the key shards. And this chest has a map. Yay. So yeah, map. Let's take a look. It's a two-floor dungeon. It's quite big, I guess. And this chest here, probably a red or a purple ruby. Red ruby, okay. Well, we're just gonna wanna head up here. No, not up there. Up the ladder. Yeah, this dungeon isn't too bad. Now, one thing I'm disappointed in is that you don't get a chance to have sumo matches with these elders. I mean, they're... The sumo rings are there, but you don't get to wrestle them for the keys or anything, or the key shards. And that kind of bothers me because we only use sumo wrestling against that one elder. Oh, hello you! Remember this thing? It is Uku. Free at last. Gracious, you're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. And Uku is going to be the same. He, she, oh, her, okay. She's going to teleport you out of dungeons and you can use her son, which is a disembodied head, to bring you back to wherever you use the thing. Yeah. It's basically like Ferrari's Wind in, uh, in Ocarina of Time. Okay. So... Now I can just walk along to the door and kill that. Oh, okay. And this next room, if I remember correctly. Yep, this is the one I'm thinking of. Oh, okay. So because there's a lot of walking around. Okay, one thing you're gonna wanna do here is just go this way. No, we don't want to lock on you. Yeah, see that chest over there? You're gonna want to get to it. And you know what I'm thinking of doing? I'm thinking of speeding this part up. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking of speeding this part up because it's just walking on. Boring. Yeah, it's just boring watching me walk. But yeah, we got a piece of heart. So, yay. So, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna speed it up and... I don't know. 
as this is going to take quite a bit of time and no one wants to watch me just walk like that because that's boring. So, speed up! Speeding up is done, and now we can continue on, and we're back in this big room here. This is where we got that first key there. And we have some boblins guarding a switch. So, obviously, I'm gonna need to kill all of them. Except not really, I don't need to, but killing them is fun. Okay, you can die. Oh, hello, fiery keys of death. Okay, you can die. Oh, I missed. Yeah, the one bad part about the ending blow is if you miss, then uh, you're stuck in the ground for a little bit. And I saw heart, so... Die. Okay, you're dead, and now... Step on the switch, it activates this magnet. And... Yeah. It's going to... Ah, oh, it's over there! No! Oh, I missed it. Oh, well. It's going to take me straight to where it needs to take me. Instead of taking me back to that first entrance in this room that we went through, but yeah. I say, but yeah, a lot. Okay, let's turn on this magnet, ignoring these enemies. Ha! Screw you, enemies. And you can die. Is there a treasure chest here? No, no treasure chest. Kind of a waste then. Oh, this room. I remember this room. Okay. Let's ignore these and go down here. And push this box up. Or not up. North, I guess. Swim upwards. And let us turn on this magnet that's over there. So, yeah, one thing I like doing is just jumping towards magnets and then putting on the iron boots because, I don't know, makes me feel like a bot- Makes me feel like a badass. That's what it does. There's no treasure chest in this room, right? I, I want to make sure. Ah, oh, there's one down there. Jump to my death. Okay, so this chest here has... Small key. Okay, so I needed to go here. Okay, so back up here. Let's turn this on. And yay, I get to jump down and do the awesome. Yes, I can see it. Now this must feel really uncomfortable for Link, being like, magnetized down that fast. Especially when he gets magnetized upside down, that must be really uncomfortable, like having all the blood rush to his head like that. Oh well. Okay, chest, let's open you. And you will give me a red rupee, okay. That puts me at over 100. And this switch here... Meh, missed, okay. Hit it and it opens that, but it's not going to stay lit for that long. So yay! Oh, hello! You're dead. No, you're not. You're not dead. Oh, see those rotating statues? Those are Beemos. If you get caught within their line of fire, they are going to shoot their phaser beams. Because they're not lasers. And this just opens the door back. So up here. 
Up we go. Those BMOs are annoying. Cause right now there's no way to stop them from shooting their beams of death at you. Okay, no treasure ch oh treasure chest. Oh, that was weird. Okay, treasure chest, I want whatever you are. You're probably rupees. It would be nice if you're a piece of heart though, because that'd be more useful for me. And you are a piece of heart, okay. Wow. Okay, thank you. Okay, back up here we, okay. Back up here we go. And what we need to do once we get up here will be a little bit not obvious. What we need to do is just, first off, I wanna see what's over here. Okay, just money. What we want to do is just slash these ropes because it's going to knock this down and we can open the door. And I have the key. I kind of freaked out there in my mind for a bit because I saw the locks. Like, I don't have a key, but I do have a key. And now we are in another one of the main areas of the dungeon. We'll be coming back here a few more times, I believe. There's a lot of these bulblins with arrows. And I think there's a few chests around here to grab as well, so... You know what? I'll go in the water first. Okay, I couldn't go in the water there. Okay, let's go in the water and investigate, because I know there's a few chests for me to get. Like down here. Okay, slash that. And this has, let me guess, 50 rupees? Yep, 50 rupees. And I haven't edited the previous episode yet, which is the one where I said that I'm gonna try brightening up the video. So if this video if this episode here is brightened up, then it's probably something I'm gonna be sticking with for the rest of the Okay. Okay. And I don't know if there's any more treasure chests down there, so... Oh, that door is locked. So I'm gonna wait till I get the compass before I do some more snooping around. Okay, this has the key, doesn't it? Yup. Yeah, I have not practiced this dungeon, so I don't remember what's in it, because the last time I played this dungeon was when I did the three-heart run of this dungeon. I still need to finish my three-heart run of Twilight Princess. One day I will. Okay, I know there's a... F there might be some treasure chests down here. Okay, there's one over there, but that's like on the way or something. Okay, this room or this bridge... I can do this in one go. No, I can't! Well, that's what I get for being cocky. Oh, I can do this in one go, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I have to get back up there. Luckily, there's this ladder. I know I can do this in one go. I know I can. I think I can, I think I can. Ow. Okay, I will try this in one go. Okay, I know I can do it. Oh, dang it. Okay, so this time I'm gonna be smart and use my iron boots. Cause... Yeah. If you're cocky like I am, then you're gonna fail most likely. In this room. This room will lead us to the second elder, or third elder, because we met the first one in the last episode. Oh, uh, the young human, I am pleased to see you make it this far, brother. Okay, this is Gora Bizo. Uh, and yes, we heard the plight of the patriarch, so we're here to help. And that's the second key shard. We just need the last one. 
And there's a weapon said to have been left in this mine by a hero of old. Interesting. Beyond price and protected through generations. Okay. Stored safely up ahead. Talk to the guard and take it with you with the blessing of the Gorons. I will do just that after I take your money. Seriously, give me your money. Yellow rupee, okay. Not bad. Ouch. There's nothing there for me to bump into! Stop it, Link. No. Up the ladder. And I think the compass is in this room. Yay, pointer, which I said I would disable a few episodes ago, but I never did. Okay, the compass. Isn't the compass here? I know it's in one of these rooms, right? Huh, guess not. Oh, I think I remember where the compass is. It's actually pretty late in the dungeon, so... Yeah. Okay, so just go this way. And, oh, stop it, Link. Stop hitting your face against walls and such. Okay, more wall walking. Again, it's a cool concept. It's just... You move really slow. Now if they made iron boots that were less heavy and made you move a little bit faster, that would be cool. Am I there yet? Okay. A little bit more than I could drop down to the chest. Okay. And let's see what you have. Yellow rupee. Okay. And you know what? Okay, I'm just practicing the shield attack just because I might need it here in this room. Fade in, and usually when it's fade in, it's gonna be a mini boss. And there's the guard. And if you guessed right, he is the mini boss. Whoa, human? What business does a human have coming here? None. No business. Guess he didn't get the memo. Okay. Mini boss time against this guy's name that I don't remember. It's actually pretty easy. You could use your iron boots to gain some stability here, but um. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, hit him. Once you hit him, he's gonna start rolling up, and no, no. Did it wrong. Okay, grab him and toss him into the lava. Luckily, he's made of rock, so yeah. Oh! Okay, shield attack kind of helped there. Okay, grab and throw you. That's not enough. Oh, shoot. yeah, I need the iron boots to grab him. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. No, I meant the shield. Dang it. Okay, iron boots, help. Oh, come on, I grabbed him. You saw the button. Okay. There, that's better. Should not be that difficult, because this boss is quite easy. Or mini boss, to be exact. Okay, spin. And I didn't throw him the right way. Okay, let's just go to the edge here. And now I can spin and throw you down to the lava or magma. And that's our victory right there. Oh, he looks so sad. He looks very sad. I feel kind of bad for beating him up. 
Yeah, now he understands we're here to help. And now bring us up. Some oh, okay, the magma is filling up. Okay, that makes sense because the chains were broken. Well, onwards to the next room. Anything else you have to say? Skills like yours, even the patriarch can be brought back to his senses. Why, yes you can. So head down here. And... Yay, we're done with the mini boss. And now we can get the weapon here. It is... An awesome item. We got the hero's bow, and now the slingshot is obsolete. Yes! Can hold up to 30 arrows, and it is a great item. So, okay, do that, and get that set there. So, yeah, let's use this. And shoot that down. Awesome item. Very awesome. And... I love the bow and arrow a lot, so yeah, very great item. 